Hey everyone, so today I've got what I'm hoping should be a very special package of classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I got this package today, and what's inside this is all first edition LOB cards. And I found this on a local online marketplace actually. And uh, I was able to see all of the cards that are in this, I saw a picture of it. Uh, but the thing is, I don't know which version of first edition LOB these are, and that's very important because uh, depending on which edition it is, it can make a, a big difference in the value. Uh, so I, like I said, I saw the pictures, however the resolution wasn't quite high enough for me to make out which version it was. So for LOB, just to give you a little bit of information here, there's several different versions. There is the first edition North American version, which looks like this. You have first edition, LOB, and the number. There's also this one, the Oceanic version, first edition, LOB, dash A, and then the number. There's the European version, first edition, LOB, dash E, and then the number. There's also a popular one is the Asian English version, which looks exactly like this, it just says first edition, LOB, the number, but then if you flip it over, on the back, it just has the Japanese logo, it doesn't have the English words. Uh, so in the photos I saw, I wasn't able to make out uh, this information here, it was just kind of a blur, and normally I would ask the seller for more photos so I could see, you know, which version it is. But for a lot like this, like it was very, very, uh, it was a very good price. Uh, so for a lot like this, you don't really have time to contact the seller, do negotiating and stuff. You have to just kind of buy it and hope for the best because something like this will sell very fast. So if you don't buy it, someone else is going to when it's just it's going to be gone by the time you, the seller contacts you back. So what I'm hoping is that all of these will be the North American English version first edition LOB because if that's the case, then we're talking some extreme value here. And there's a few cards in here that are very valuable. Uh, we'll get to those once I open this. All right, so now let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. All right, so let's open this up now and see what is inside. So like I was saying, uh, the value can change drastically depending on which version of first edition LOB it is. But uh, regardless, any version does have quite a bit of value. So even if it's not the North American one, I mean, it kind of sucked, but it's still going to be a nice lot regardless. And there are three... Actually, there's nothing. Yeah, no markings. There are three... Um, potentially very valuable cards in here. I don't want to spoil them. The The seller though, they included that included these cards they, basically for free. They said because they're very damaged. Uh, however, I saw the photos and the damage that's on them looks like it's potentially just curling. And the thing with curling is while it does look bad, you can actually uh, undo the majority of a curl. It takes some work, but you, you can you can have flattened the card pretty much back to back to almost perfect. So if that's the case, that's going to be pretty cool. If it's just a little bit of curl, well, it's more than a little bit, of, but if it's just some curling. Okay, so moment of truth. Which version? Well, wow. okay, so on the front, you see first edition LOB. Focus, please, camera. And then the number. So now we just have to flip it over and see, is it the North American or the Asian English version? Oh, uh, it's the Asian English version. That's what I suspected. Okay, so... It's not the version that I was looking for, but these do still have quite a bit of value. So it's not a total loss. Well, it's not a loss at all, honestly. I'm gonna move this tray out of the way. Uh, I don't know if they're all going to be the Asian English version though. Maybe some of them are gonna be different. So I've got a whole bunch of comments here. Yerby, Woody Phantom, Larvas, 
whole bunch of these. It's uh, essentially the the whole first edition set, uh, the whole common first edition set, I think. There might be every common card. So we'll go through these. Probably I'll just flip through the backs of them after to see if all of them are the Asian English version. Armail, this guy. Frenzied Panda. Enchanted Mermaid. Cool. Laser Cannon Armor. Yeah, it looks like these are probably all going to be the Asian English version. But there's, you know, like I said, pretty much the whole common set here. Here's a rare. There are some rares in here too. It's pretty sweet. Final Flame, a couple Metal Dragons. I think there's a few more too. Arm Ninja. Hain Hain, that's a cool card. So what I paid for this was about, in US dollars, it'd be maybe a hundred dollars. And all of these, actually I haven't mentioned the condition, these look in very good condition. So that's nice. They're not, not all of them are perfect, like you need to see a, you know, a little bit of damage here. So that's not near mint. Some of these are near mint though. You can see one of the cards poking out in back there. One of the valuable ones. Check that out. Gaia the Dragon Champion. That's cool. So the front looks nice. And then, like I said, it's got some curling to it. There's also another Gaia. This one is damaged. Yeah, it's got some big damage on it there, big crease. Yeah, this is basically just curling. There is, yeah, there is some damage here actually on the top. See a little, little bit of wrinkling there, a little crease. But honestly, it's not, not that bad. This curl, I feel like this curl can be undone. It's a little bit of wrinkling there, that kind of sucks. And then the other card, Zodiac Forbidden one. This one, yeah, it's not, yeah, that's in pretty bad condition. Yeah, <laughs> that one's more than just curling. So that's that's why the seller included it basically for free. A big bit of damage here. It's curled, wrinkled. Looks like it's got some water damage to it. And the Gaia there it has a big crease in it. Some okay, this other package. They're just kind of in the envelopes here. Whole bunch more commons. See a rare sticking out at the back there. Skull Servant. It's a pretty cool common. Basic Insect. So many first editions. This is what kind of um, tipped me off to a potentially being Asian English because if this was the North American version, first edition LOB, this would be Trial of Hell. And it it looked like, uh, like I said, I couldn't really see the numbers here. They were just a blur, but it looked like it was just the three letters and the three numbers. So if that's the case, then this would be the Asian English version. Here's another rare. That's a, that's a doubles. Oh, there's two of this guy. Didn't notice that in the photos. Flame Ghost. A whole bunch of normal monsters there. Beast Bangs. There's a book of secret arts with a feather. Got a Fisher. 
and this Carbonala Warrior. Cool. Just gonna take a quick flip through the back. Whoops. Oh no. To uh, make sure these are all the Asian English version. Yeah. That's okay. So with the with the, if these were the North American version, uh, any common in good edition or in good condition from first edition LOB is worth at least a couple bucks. So you're looking at, I mean, these just these commons like the 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 floor. Whoop, my camera is falling. The floor for uh, for first edition LOB commons is about two dollars, but then you can get up to like you know twenty bucks maybe, maybe even more for some commons if they're a uh, short print. So that would have been a lot of value in just commons. And then these these also, I mean, even though these are basically destroyed, they would still hold some value. But this one, it's in pretty decent shape, actually. You know, if this was, I don't, not, I'm not sure what the, the Asian English one is worth. It's going to be less than the North American, but the North American one, you're looking at like $500 plus. If it's, you know, if it's truly near mint, then quite a lot you know probably thousand plus this one is not though and then for rares you know those could be upwards of twenty dollars maybe maybe a little bit more for a few some of them are not super expensive say between like five and twenty bucks for rares so these are going to be less but like i said they do still have a fair amount of value so this is cool though i mean like I said, I paid about a hundred bucks for this, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this lot. It's pretty cool. All right, so there's what we've got: a whole bunch of commons, a few rares, a couple of secret rares, and ultra rare. Pretty cool. All right, well, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. It'd be cool if you can like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. But otherwise, I'll talk to you later.